Hey guys, Tyler here with NLC College and NLC Live, and we are doing our daily devotional. Today we're talking about day 11, 1 Corinthians 16, 13 and 14. First way we're going to read this is the NIV version, New International Version. It says, do everything in love. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Man, this is a good one. This is a good one. I love this because it's direct. There's no fluff. It's not like glow, grow, glow. Like they're straight up. God's saying, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I love how direct it is. And I love how it's a clear command. And there's a clear, am I doing something in love? Am I making this decision in love? Am I giving constructive, criti constructive, constructive criticism in love? Am I giving all of my intentions under that baseline of love? Remember, when you're reading these verses, if you want, pause this and write this down for yourself. Figure out these things for yourself and then come back and we can join together. There are five things we're looking for here. Is there a command to obey? Is there a sin to avoid? Is there a promise from God? And then also, are you learning something new or is there an application? There were two of those that really jumped out to me that I wanna talk about with you guys. There's the command to obey, and then there's the application. Texas Longhorns, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring them into this. Everything is separated with a comma, except for do everything in love. So it says, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. All four of those, are separated by commas or semicolons in the NIV version. The one thing that is its own declarative sentence is do everything in love. And the way I like to, the way I initially took that was, I'm gonna do all these other four things. I'm gonna be courageous. I'm gonna stand strong in faith. I'm gonna do all four of those things. But the thing that, that caps off all of those is I'm gonna do all those things with love. I'm gonna be courageous with love. I'm gonna stand firm in the faith with love. I'm gonna be on my guard and be strong with love. Like it's, it's the underlier for everything whenever we are approached with a situation or something we need to speak with someone about or we're trying to pour into someone, I think that that intention has to be pure. It has to be in love. And I think that's what God's trying to tell us here. Now, if you read another version, I'm going to read this. I usually use my, um, my Bible app on my phone. And so I don't have the paper Bible. It's okay to judge me. It's fine. The NLT version, there are periods. It says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything with love. That sounds like five separate things. So what I inferred from the NIV version might not carry over with the NLT version because it was a very subtle grammatical thing that I was noticing and trying to get context from it. I wanna give you another version that I read. This is the voice version. It says, listen, stay alert, stand tall in the faith, be courageous and be strong. Let love prevail in your life, your words and your actions. I love that last line. In your life, how you are, in your head, in this space that only you own, in your words, what you speak, how you pour into people, how you correct people, how you converse with people. Have love in that. And the last one, in our actions. You know, people say talk is cheap, but whenever we're talking actions, in what we do, people are gonna see that more than anything. You can say, oh yeah, I love God, but if you don't act like that, if you don't show that, you don't show that you have that love, people are gonna discount that. They're gonna discount your words based on your actions. Before we go, I want to pray for you guys and just hope you guys have an amazing day that, that is filled with that love, not just from you, but from people that you're around. And I think the more you show it, the more you're going to see in others around you. God, we love you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity that we get to join together over your word and learn from it, learn something new from verses we may or may not have read before, God. And I pray that we would make those practical applications in our life to help transform what we're doing, and the people we're around through the power you give us. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen. We just had graduation, so I'm, I'm still like trying to get all, I need, to, I need to clean it up. But you guys are important. I needed to pay attention to you. Okay, I'm done.